All right, so today I will be teaching you how to change the Bowden tube on a 3D printer. This is a relatively easy process. My tube has been damaged and one of my clamps has also been stripped. So I need to remove this and replace it as well. To do this, you only need a few items that you should already have that have come with your printer or are lying around the house. You need a sharp pair of scissors, some zip ties, the wrench that came with your printer, and some replacement clamps if your clamp has been stripped like mine is, the cutters that were included with your printer, and of course the Bowden tube. I had pliers, but I never ended up needing these, so just ignore those. The first thing you want to do is heat up your nozzle to remove your filament and pull it out so you can remove the tubing. You will then want to unscrew the tube clamp so that you can remove the tube. Hopefully you can see here on camera that the clamp has definitely been stripped on the inside where the teeth usually are, they are no longer. I have no idea how this happened, but it did, so this one is bad and has to go. Here's the old clamp compared to the new one. You now want to clip the zip ties that hold the Bowden tube to your wires. If you have something other than a CR10, this may look a little bit different. Then pull the tube off and remove the zip ties that you just cut. This is the tubing that I have purchased and I have an affiliate link in the description to everything that I use that you can purchase yourself if you need it. Happy to help and answer any questions you might have on this stuff too. Just leave a comment. Next, I use the old tube to measure out the new piece of tube I need and cut it with the very sharp scissors. Don't use dull ones or you will smash the tube and your filament will not go through well. I have done this before and it's not fun. Now it's time to replace the stripped clamp with a new one. Again, I have a link on where to buy these. Here again is a comparison of the new versus the old. Now slip on the clamp slightly and reattach it to the printer. I then push the tube all the way in the rest of the way when it is screwed on slightly to ensure that I don't push the clamp too high up the tube and then I am unable to screw the piece into the printer. Do this to both the feed and nozzle sections and use your wrench to tighten when you can. And then you can zip tie the tube to the wire so they don't get in the way of each other. Don't forget to cut the excess like I did here. And now here you see the filament goes through as normal and the Bowden tube does not slip out of the clamp with the new one replacing it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks guys. I will catch you next week. Happy printing.